Hello and welcome back to another Elden Ring video. I'm replaying Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC and trying to collect all the gear and secret items as I go, including all of the weapons, armor sets, talismans, spells, ash of war, larval tears, shields, and some of the other unique stuff. I am not collecting spirit ashes and shadow tree fragments as I already have them all, but I decided to make a guide on finding all this stuff in the DLC, starting with the first region, the Gravesite Plains. If you like the video, I will make more on the other sections of the Shadowlands, so let me know. Okay, let's take a look at some of the items you don't want to miss in the first section of the DLC, the Gravesite Plains. The first item you don't want to miss is this larval tier needed, of course, to respect your stats. This only shows up in the Gravesite Plains at night in this exact location. The Ascetic's Armor Set and Curse Blade Circ Weapon are potential drops from this Curse Blade enemy near the Gravesite Plains Point of Grace. You'll need to farm him over and over again to get all of the pieces. Beast Claw is found by fighting this random invasion enemy, who doesn't really work like a regular invasion. He's called Logar the Beast Claw, and he drops the Beast Claw weapon once you defeat him. The Black Knight Great Hammer and Great Shield drop from this knight in the church. There is another knight in Castle Ensis who drops the same stuff, so you won't get everything from this one knight because he doesn't respawn, so you'll have to get it from the other one in Castle Ensis. Blade of Mercy is a talisman found in the tower up top of the Scorched Ruins in the Graveside Plains. The Sword and Armor of Solitude, one of the best heavy armors in the DLC, the Solitude Armor, this is found inside of the Western Nameless Mausoleum. This is a tough enemy though inside called the Black Jail Knight who drops a gear once you defeat him. The backhand blade is on the ground in front of the sarcophagus next to where the giant furnace golem roams about. The deflecting head tier is dropped by the furnace golem in the gravesite plains, so these are tough enemies and the best way to defeat them is to target one of their legs so they stagger and fall over. Then you can critical hit them by hitting them in the face just with a regular attack, which doesn't always work because it seems to be a bit bugged, but mostly does. And if you do this, you will deal a lot of damage. And after he's defeated, you can get the deflecting hard tier. There is a lost Ash of War in the middle of the Ella Great Bridge. There is a larval tier next to the Great Bridge North Site of Grace. It only shows up at night. The Ailing Talisman is found on a wooden platform at the top of the abandoned village. The
The Great Katana is found lying in front of the Somber Dragon in the lake. You don't need to kill the dragon in order to get it. However, if you decide to kill the dragon, you will get a dragon heart and a legendary somber smithing stone. The Gravebird armor is located on a corpse on the ground in front of the stone arch. The Savage Lion Claws Ash of War is on the ground in the ruined camp next to the cliff face close to where the lake was. Lastly, we will venture into the Bellarat Jail. This has a couple of good items to find. First is a lost Ash of War. Simply head through the jail about 80% of the way and you'll fall down a broken ledge into a maze of pots. You can't miss this as it's really the only way to go. You'll find the Ash of War just here, you can't really miss it. Just before the final boss of the dungeon you can ride the jar up to find the Great Jar Helmet. Lastly, you can beat the final boss in the jail to get the Demi-Human Swordsman's Yosh Spirit Summon. Well guys, that pretty much covers all of the good, unique and secret items you want to find in the Gravesite Plains in the Elden Ring DLC. There are a bunch of other sections in the Gravesite Plains which I haven't done close to Belroot Tower or Castle Ensis just yet. But let me know in the comments if you want me to make more of these types of videos. And also let me know in the comments if you had missed any of the items in this video that I went over. Like and subscribe for more guides and I will see you in the next one. Bye.